Three is the dog about Moya. Yes, yes, she's my youngest. And she had a fear of dogs. She did. Over the years, it sort of limited everywhere she could go or where we could go as a family. She couldn't go to the beach. If she went for a walk, she was always watching out. It kind of limited her world because when when anything was suggested, the first thing she did was assess the level of risk of a dog being present. Mm. She was reserved in so many other ways. You know, for instance, if you if you stopped at the shop, you'd say, you know, go in a bin and get whatever groceries. And she was like, no. And you'd, you'd think for a child who could dance on a stage and, and do well in school and generally do well, that those sort of things would have been easy for her. Mm. But they were the things that were the everyday things that were not easy for her. Because there might be a dog there. There might be a dog. So, you know, a time comes where you kind of go, you, you've got to get over this, you know, shake yourself out of it. But it was way deeper than that. Mm. I met you and you suggested giving her a, a, a treatment. And... She came, what, for an hour, an hour and a half to you? It was an hour. Just as an example of the way she had gotten, I had to sit outside the door because she was nervous even of coming into you. Mm -hmm. She'd gotten herself into this nervousness when there wasn't even a risk of a dog. Yeah. A shyness or a a timidness. It was disappointing to me to see this girl who could dance on stage and do Mm -hmm. all this outward stuff to be so downtrodden with the nervousness that came from the dog thing starting to spread out everywhere in her life. So anyway, she came in for the treatment with you. Well, to be fair, I didn't really expect any miracles. So off we went home, but we stopped in our local shop on the way. And on this occasion, I just said, chance my arm again. I said, Maya, nip into the shop and get A, B and C. And she just went. Mm. And I I sat in the car for a second after I was going, well, that was easy. And then saw in the wing mirror three dogs, one on a lead, two loose. They were heading for the door of the shop as Moya was heading for the door of the shop and my heart nearly stopped. And she, I said, she's going to come running back any second. Mm. She will come running back to the, to the car. But she didn't. I went in, got the things, came back, got in the car, said nothing. And I'm thinking, surely she noticed the dogs. And... Somewhere on the journey home, she said, Mum, did you see those dogs going into the shop? I said, yes, I did. You better text Bruce. (laughs) I walked into that shop and I was not afraid of the dogs. I can honestly say since then, her confidence has grown. She She has flourished beyond my expectations. A few months have made a massive change to her. She is now doing everything that she could possibly do. Shortly after she saw you, she went to Lourdes on a trip as a helper. She was in London about three weeks ago on a dance trip and she is going to Kenya in January. Mm. She has been fundraising for the Kenya trip. Yesterday we had a big community coffee morning. She was there speaking to people. She was had organised it. She was making coffee. She was talking to friends and neighbours. She was just like the young adult that she should be. Yeah. But I mean, six months ago, there was no sign of that girl. Mm. So I have to say, I am just so happy for her. The confidence and the the joy and the fun, she is just blooming at the minute. When the dog issue diminished, her confidence soared and she is flying now. That's so good. I am so happy to say that.